Hey, techies. Oh, man. It's been a busy June. I've had so much stuff. I got my passport ordered because I'm trying to go in December with my friends to travel. I have planning I need to do for a lot of things. Videos, streams, events, hangouts, everything. I probably should give myself a break on those. But while I was kind of just scrolling through YouTube shorts today, and by the way, I know I kind of make fun of people for going on TikTok, but I go on YouTube shorts a lot as well. So considering I'm on a TikTok alternate version on YouTube, I really shouldn't be talking crap. <laughs> but I was scrolling on YouTube shorts and I saw a YouTube short about Liko, the new main character of Pokemon. A lot of comments being nostalgic about Ash and Pikachu, saying that people would miss him, saying that they're gonna that the Pokemon series will never be the same, and that Ash deserves to rest after 25 years. And it got me thinking about all the times I watched Pokemon back then. Just being that happy back then, just watching the series, knowing, oh yeah. Anytime I watch this series, no matter what region he's in or what he's doing, Ash will be on that big screen trying to become a Pokemon master. It's weird to think that that changed, right? Now is a new character. It's not Ash anymore. It's been Ash for the past 25 years. It's so weird to picture it like that. From Kanto to Galar, 25 years worth of Pokemon generations. Five years older than my entire existence. He's finally being retired, and that's weird to fully internalize. And I say weird to accept because I know this has already been announced like a while ago. It was like April, March, something like early in the year. So it's already been a few months since I've known about this. But yet it's still kind of hard to internalize because for the entirety of my life, I've just had Ash to watch on the Pokemon screen. Really makes you think. Nothing lasts forever. Even when it seems like it does, and all the signs point to it lasting, not everything does last. Reminds me of when I was in high school, there was a person that I really, really cared about. And I really, really like wanted to put my all into spending as much time with as possible. And that even caused me to not completely change or affect my decisions around like where to go to college after and stuff like that. But for me, I was like, if I go to college with this person, I'd be content. I'd be happy with that. And honestly, that may have been like a factor that would have leaned towards me going to that college. If I got in there, it would have been a factor for sure. Like a positive factor to help convince me to go there. And it's weird that things have changed since then. I'm going to a different college now. I am exploring different career options and ambitions. I've also started learning a new kind of engineering, like telecom engineering, which I have never even heard of since prior to my internship. Never even heard of telecom. And now I'm getting into it and it's one of the most fun things I've ever done. It's weird that back then I had so many like guarantees in my mind that I'm going to be with this person and we're going to do fucking amazing things and I'm going to watch Ash all the time on Pokemon and it'll be exactly the same and even back then like really back then where I would watch Smosh games every day after I come back home from school and just sit there on my laptop and watch Smosh games upload their newest video I would watch them and be like oh yeah Marycraft will not leave Lasercorn, Jovenshire, all these people from the Smosh Games channel that I love seeing every day and that made me want to do content creation, they're not going to leave. They're going to be there making videos forever and I'm going to be watching them. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen. It never does. Change can be scary. And the way that I don't remember if it was a friend or the internet or something, but I saw somewhere that... With people and like adult friendships, relationships, ch relationships change, but they don't get lost. They just develop into a new form. Actually, I remember now it was my engineering mentor that said that because I was talking to him at work about like thinking about adult friendships and stuff like that. And that's what he told me that these things will probably, they might not say the exact same 
after you go into college slash adulthood. But they take on a new form, and that new form depends on how much both of you are willing to put in. And, you know, during college, I started learning about who's willing to put in that effort for me and who isn't. And let's just say there were a lot of people that I put a lot more effort in our relationship than they did. So I kind of understood my, prior my priorities more. I think it's fair to be afraid of change because, hell, I kind of am too. I'm afraid of mixing friends with each other because I'm worried about bad things that have happened in the past. I'm worried about pushing myself outside my zone to a different field or area because I'm thinking that things will change too much and it could get me in trouble or it could like jeopardize my well-being or my health. I am trying to figure it out still. Change is good and... While I'm very content with being where I am now and just working steadily at my goals and just staying where I generally am, I've been wanting to push myself more. I've been wanting to push myself to try new things. Things that I usually wouldn't do. Going out, maybe partying, clubbing, fucking um, other new experiences that are more adventurous, maybe a little more expensive that I still want to just try. I'm not saying I'm going to go all gung-ho and spend $15 million on a boat, but I just want to try new things and be someone that is more ready to accept change. Nothing lasts forever, and that was shown through, you know, things that have happened in my family, losing people, losing friends, losing experiences, and in general, realizing a lot about how a lot of my life, a lot of the good parts might not last. But then again... Maybe those parts don't last, but you end up making a bunch of new ones. Like, for example, there was a group of people that I met this year that I'm indebted to. They are incredible. They're inspirational. They're funny as hell. They're supportive. They're fantastic. And this doesn't just go for that group. There's a lot of people I've met and things I've experienced in the past few years that have made my life a lot better. And that just comes with the change. It feels better to not only accept change as something that could change what you have right now, but also change is something that can bring you even better things than what you have right now. Instead of just focusing on the things that, you know, get worse or we lose, if we just focus on the things that we're getting or that are getting better in our lives, it's so much easier. I can make a giant list about everything I don't have, but also, I can make a pretty dang big list about what I do have. Maybe it's not as big as the list that, of stuff that I don't have. But why do I need to know that? What's the point of me looking at the list of things I don't have? As if I'm going on a bucket list trying to get all of them. Like, it doesn't matter. I want to just appreciate what I do have. And that will change. But with that change, I'll have other experiences and other feelings that will bring me comfort and satisfaction that even if the whole world is changing, that my life is never staying exactly the same and always something new is happening, at least there's something good to look forward to. There's always someone that will support me. There's always some experience that I am looking forward to have. There's always something new to look forward to. And hell, there, have been, there has been great news in the past years. Like Smosh coming back. Anthony and Ian coming back to make Smosh is crazy. And, and I never ended up streaming my reaction to it. But just know that I freaked out. In fact, at work, I literally was like geeking out about Smosh to my coworkers, which I definitely know they had no idea who Smosh was. But I could not control myself. I was so excited. There are experiences I'm having where I'm going to Japan again during the winter. And I haven't been to Japan since 8th grade, and I am currently transferring in college, so you know it's been a long time. And going to Hawaii for the first time in, in um, winter. That's insane! There's so many new things I get to experience. I'm going to be living in SoCal during the fall quarter for the next two years at college. There's a lot of good things that I have to look forward to. So even if nothing lasts forever... There's always something good that I'll have. And that is something that will last forever. There's always good things I'll be able to look forward to. Great people. And you know what? That's fine with me. 
if any of you are watching or listening and you guys are unsure or afraid of the things that you could lose or things that change can bring, just know that change brings, brings a lot of great things to our lives. We just might need to look in the right direction. Because if you're looking in the darkness, in like the dark room of, of a house, you're not going to see everything else nice that it has to offer. You're just going to be focusing your view on something that's just objectively worse when you can't see everything else nice around you. Maybe the house wasn't as good of an analogy, but I guess that's kind of how I felt. Also, because I don't think I could explain an analogy of a bus driving on a cliffside much better because that's where I got the idea from, but... Okay, this is the end of it. It was something that popped up in my head and I wanted to record it instantly. Let me know if you have any questions or topics you want me to discuss in the next one and I'll see you guys later. See you techies!